While I love Arcade 1-Up's three-quarter scale cabinets, and I love that they're small enough to fit into almost any room, but also resemble some of the full-size cabinets that they're based on, one of the downsides is even though they're so small, if you're like me and you have a small little house with a small little basement, it can take up space quick, especially when I'm going on one, two, three, four, five, six of the three-quarter size cabinets, I'm losing space quick. One of the ways that I was able to solve that and still maintain a decent size in my basement, functionally anyways, was by including party cades in my collection. And in this video, I'm gonna go over who I think party cades are for, and some of the benefits, pros and cons of them, and some of the things I don't like so much about them. Let's take a look. Perfect. So the space that I currently have my arcade in is about 140 square feet. So really it's not a lot. So for me, maximizing my space is a big deal only because when I do have people over, it can get feeling crowded pretty quick. So I basically at this point maximize as much space as I possibly could. And one of the ways I did that was by getting into the party cage and adding more to my collection. So I currently have four party cades. I did actually have one of the earlier generation Pac-Man ones, which I've since gotten rid of, but I currently have four and they're all from the more recent generation of the party cades. And one of the cool things is compared to a normal arcade one-up unit, they approximately sit about two feet away from the wall whereas these party cades take under a foot of space so in other words by mounting them to the wall like I've done I know there are door hanging kits as well that come with some of these party cades but mounting them to the wall I was able to maximize a ton of space so the first thing I would say is if you're looking to conserve space the party cades are awesome they can help clear up space they can also if you have a smaller space overall they can complement that space and they still to me maintain the aesthetics of an arcade which i think is awesome the other thing as well and i've said this in many of my reviews the era from the super pac-man miss pac-man and street fighter 2 party cades they're also some of the best built party cades that i've used and some of the best built arcade one-up products that i've used when even coming down to i know some of you guys are big on your marquees i'm not as picky but even looking at the marquees compared to some of my full-size units they look just sharp and crisp and the actual artwork on these look awesome and the control panels feel great now unfortunately arcade one up has kind of dropped the ball on their more recent release with the nba jam party cade it doesn't come with a light up marquee it comes with mono speakers and oddly enough does not have access or ability to run a second player on it so I'm not saying that all of these party cades are in great standing with me, but I would argue that that generation that I just mentioned is, is top tier as far as arcade one-up products go. The other cool thing is most of these units feature a lot of the same quality um, settings such as being able to change different options within games just like the full-size units as well as they all look really good. The screens look of great quality. They're all BOEs. Ultimately, if you're looking to conserve the space and have something that functions and plays like the Big Brother units that Arcade 1UP makes, I think these are a great choice. Now, where we get to some of the downsides. Most of the party cades are tailored towards one player experience, which depending on the games you like to play is fine. So for example, my Pac-Man Shrine that you can see here, it's fine to have these Pac-Man games on these one player units. And I found a lot of people enjoy just kind of competing with each other, going back and forth on different games. So that's, that's a standard thing. Pac-Man was a one player game. Most of the games on these Bandai Namco units are all one player games, so it makes sense. Moving into something though like the Street Fighter 2 cabinet or unit or, or wall mount unit, however you want to call it, party gate. The downside to that is that we don't really have a comfortable two player experience. Yes, you can hook up a secondary controller, but it's not the same as using the control panel. However, if you are going to tough it out, play 
with a second player. It does play well. It's just, it's not the same feeling as playing on an arcade standing unit like the three-quarter cabinet. So it kind of is a little bit of a shame that way, but ultimately, I understand that Arcade 1-Up had to cut some things in order to make this party cage functional, and as it stands, the Street Fighter 2 party cage is one of my most played cabinets or units in my arcade mostly because of super puzzle fighter but still it's, it's a great unit to play and i've had a ton of fun on it and then of course you get units like nba jam which are just bizarre that there's no second player option at all and for those of you who are looking at a party arcade, that's 100 percent something that i would be considering and really what you're using your arcade for if you're not having a ton of people over and you're not really playing multiplayer games maybe you don't care but for me, I like the ability that when I do have people over, we can play against each other, play different games, and, and, and experience different games together. So it does suck for the, some of the party games, depending on what style you're going with. It does suck that they're not really designed for two-player games like, of course, some of the three-quarter tabs are. So... Ultimately, if you're looking at conserving space, I think the party cades are for you. If you want a quality experience in terms of all the different games that these offer and play well as well, the party cades are probably for you. However, if you're looking for a solid two-player experience as an alternative to some of the three-quarter cabinets, that's definitely something you're going to want to consider when getting one of these. So hopefully this, this overview was helpful for some of you. And again, for those of you who have party cades or have questions about them, definitely leave some of your comments below and subscribe if, as well if you like this content. Thank you.